and I'm doing it for my daughter. Hi, Sam. My name is Sullivan. That's problem number one. Your parents named you to be on a fucking pirate ship or something. <laughs> Sullivan. T it's Huck Finn. Huck, my, my name's Huck Finn. What's another Sullivan type name? Hogarth. My parents named me Hogarth. Morgan. This is this is the literally the root of your problem is that when you were uh, seven years old, you you heard Sullivan, Sullivan, time to come in, Sullivan, and you and it sounds like a man's name from like the forties, and so you're just like thinking that you're a man from the forties. I've got a couple of questions for you. Is postmodern art slash avant garde art worthwhile? Um. So here's here's the first thing. People people think that um, like the the human the human brain is wired in such a way to um, get enjoyment satisfaction from like good stories, for example, like a story where there's tension and all the all the classical things that make a story good, like a um, a hero a hero who has conflict with uh, who's Outward conflict and inward conflict are at, are at odds, so their their outward conflict leads them to a greater clarity of their inward conflict, like Star Wars. And so there's, because everything's been done, first of all, second of all, because it's easier to just make a pile of shit instead of be good at something, there's this temptation among gifted people with with no work ethic gifted people with poor work ethic to go oh i don't need to follow the rules i can just break all the rules and make something that's so cutting edge and crazy and i'll make the real art i'll make the real true novel i'll make the real true film and it's it's good for it's good because first of all i'm bucking all the trends i'm doing something nobody else has done and the, the real benefit here is that I don't need to study fundamentally what makes a film or a painting or a story a good thing. I don't have to have any craft. You're right? leaving out a, a one second of art, though, that's you got to get back into, In, is installation. Installation art. Forgive, Happenings. Forgive me. I knew you, this you was say important. writing, which I totally get. I know this is important to you. Film and art and paintings, you know, creative medium. And then you said with uh, writing musical writing paintings film writing music paintings, too film. all of it right but, but like, i forgot the it, one like you like the you know i forgot the one the masterpiece with the girl dumping the spaghetti goes for her tits yeah so this is the this is the first thing and i know this just from reading you saying is postmodern art slash avant-garde art worthwhile i don't even know what those things mean i just know that it's a shortcut so that instead of taking the years of time that it would take for you to learn how to make a beautiful still life or paint something realistic or use chiaroscuro and paint paint with light and make some make a painting that is like uh, transcendental that transcends that may that that um, transcends I don't know I don't know if I have the brain power to go off on that tangent right now but to make to make something that's really good okay I know that because you use these words you just want to skip that I don't even know what the fuck that shit means postmodern art how about this? Try to make your shit good. First of all, you've made fun of it and stuff like the Rutgers talk, yet your art seems very much inspired by it in a lot of ways. It's not. I don't even know what I'd be looking at if I was looking at postmodern art or avant-garde art. How about this? I'm trying to make money. Second question, are you trying to make it back onto TV? What's the long term look like for you? Will you be making online vids for the foreseeable future? That's it. No, we're not. I think TV is uh, not uh, in the possibilities of the cards for me. Um, and uh, long you should time. never say never. I know that's my rule. I know. I want a little poster that I would make out of art <clears throat> where it would say, Never say never. Oops, <laughs> never say never. Um, because you might get picked up on ABC's McGru McGruber this fall on Peacock. I could do the mark, I could do the host thing. I could become a host. You could become a host, you could be Billy Bush. Cut out some of the filler, would you know? Can't, don't have time. You're a big influence on my friends and me. Love your sense of humor. We still show moms. Excited for Joyride too. All right, well, thank you for writing in. I, this is, uh, and I'm, I'm not trying to bust the balls of whoever wrote in here, but this is like a very big problem with 
this is a very huge problem. This can't be overstated. People who are making, um, everybody's trying to do something creative and that's fine. I mean, what else are you going to do? You're going to get a real job. You're going to work at a auto zone or something. Like, I don't think so. That's like hell. So you have to, you have to be on Instagram. You have to be swagged out. You have to be getting your, building your, um, following and your fan base and all that stuff. You have to do that. You have to make music. You have to make your films. You have to get repped by Gagosian. You got to do something. You got to, you got to do something to avoid getting a real job. But the pro the problem is just that, um, the, 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 it's uh, the, the roadmap the roadmap is there and people are always thinking that they can reinvent the roadmap. And, and that's, that idea is reinforced by the fact that reinventing the roadmap is easier when you have no rules, when you get to break all the rules and you get to have a creative playpen where you can just make garbage and, and somehow in your mind, you rationalize it and make it like it's, this garbage is actually good. Oh, I like what's going on there. I like the glare on that. I like that this piece is doing this. Hey, this is a successful piece now. And you're just, it's successful because you're doing a bunch of mental gymnastics uh, to go around the fact that you didn't, you don't know how to set type on a page or how to, you don't, you don't like, you literally don't know what kerning is or you don't know how to, um, you don't know how to compose like very simple stuff, like composing basic shapes in a pleasing way in a um, like four by three rectangle or whatever. Like you don't know, you just don't have no understand that you don't even know what proportion is like you don't know why it would be important and you're making some fucking gobbledygook and it's the same with um with music or do you have any thoughts on this on other people on the way people the way the cre the way people go about the creative process and it's not it's not so much the postmodern and avant-garde things i don't even know what that means i just know that it's like that's what you say when you're not interested in learning the basics well i think i started just doing stuff that didn't have any shape or form but i wasn't like calling it avant-garde mm -hmm. or anything like that it was just kind of like experimenting trying to like figure shit out mm -hmm. what people what people call postmodern avant-garde is when they take that totally uninformed experimental process and they make that all of it without doing any sort of research or anything into what k-pop cooking channel t-shirt songs yes i think if they, if they have no like, if there's no skill, I mean, I think even with postmodern art, there has to be some kind of like skill to it. Well, that's the, the second thing is that um, you, you cannot, you cannot um, get around what the brain is wired for. You, you can't, uh, like the, the, uh, the brain is looking for very specific things when, it's, when there's a story. It's looking for like basically a roadmap to avoid danger to put you, you when you're writing a story you're putting you're putting um the reader's mind in a in a novel situation to show them what types of things can come about and what um anyway you can't you can't write like red chrome door book white office ha zephyr cloud like you can't you can't write a bunch of fucking nonsense and have it have it mean something it just it just doesn't it's like uh, um um the, the, the desire is to uh, make it so that like you 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 transcend the boundaries of art or something people do it though but you just can't well you, they of course they, they fail of course they try to do it's it it's funny to watch that happen though but it's like if you're trying to it's very funny but if you're trying to like build a house or something like there's yeah. th there's things that a house has to do it has to provide like basic shelter it has to protect you mm -hmm. against the elements it has to you know you can't build a house with like a thought a crayon a branch yeah. of a widget a sonnet um, uh, a uh, jump rope. I built a house with a jump rope and a crayon. <laughs> and like, like say, saying that is like a, it does other things. It makes like meta statements about art or whatever. Like it does a bunch of other things, but it's not actually art itself. It just doesn't, it's not. Look at a, a well, Bri Brian is like big in that community. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the art, art, like a painting and, and, sculpture and stuff like that all these like people are making money and <clears throat> and some of it's great and some of it's awful you know and, and no one's able to decipher but people do it oh yeah people go right down there the big hawk flies down and picks the uh you make the best scribbly painting you know oh, yeah. even in abs especially especially specifically abstract painting mm -hmm. you know or, or it would probably be noise music mm -hmm. but noise music never makes m like big 
money. Yeah, like big bucks. I don't know. Do they? No, I don't think so. No one's like, this is the speak and spell. But that's, um, you know, it's not, it, and I'm not saying that every good painting has to be like a picture of a bowl of fruit or something like that. Um, and it's, it's, of course, it's possible to have abstract paintings that are, that are beautiful and like operate along the same like principles as a good art, that are good art. But um, it's just so, so much of it is people trying to um, reinvent the wheel and it's, it's something that can't be done. 